Hey -o, Dr. Nader Ammer with DNA Physical Therapy. Today we're talking about the piriformis stretch. I prescribe this exercise to clients with sciatica, hip pain, low back pain, and any trunk related issues. Let's begin. There are two variations to this exercise. The first one's seated, the second one's on your back or in the supine position. So for the seated position, since I'm already seated, we're gonna start with in a chair with preferably no arms or armrests, and you're just gonna bring one leg across the other, placing your ankle either to the right of this leg or right on top. You should feel a stretch, if you're tight like me, right on the side of your hip, the front of your hip, or even in your low back. <clears throat> uh, progression of this exercise is pushing the knee down. You get a little deeper stretch in the front and to the side and then even bigger stretch if you lean forward, just like that. Side angle, cross your leg, push down, lean forward. See how my back is straight? Good. Same thing on the other side. Ooh, this side's tighter. Just hang out, feel, let the weight of your leg pull down and it'll still stretch that piriformis out in the back. Push down, lean forward. All right, let's do the second variation, supine or on your back. The second variation of the piriformis stretch is on your back. So you want some room on, flat on your back on a firm surface. You're gonna start with just pulling one knee to your chest with both hands, like you're giving it a big bear hug, and you're gonna pull it up as far as you can and pull to the opposite shoulder. You should feel it right back here Hold for 30 seconds, three times. A progression of this exercise is pulling it up more, ow, and over more, yeah. And that's a 30 second hold, three times. Perform on the opposite side, knee to your chest, big hug, pull in to the opposite shoulder. Nice stretch through the glutes in the back, all the way up. That's the piriformis stretch. Like and subscribe.